among us has never heard of the golden ratio. We speak of a mathematical constant, the number 1.618, but it is actually a number sequence that continues forever which is irrational. The first several numbers are 1.618033988875. It supposedly makes objects and people look more attractive. The golden ratio is also known as phi. It can be written in two forms. The golden ratio has several different names. Some of these are, golden mean, golden section, divine proportion and Fibonacci ratio. The golden ratio is so much present in the physical reality to define the whole universe, it can be considered, for good reasons, the mathematical representation of life. Due to this peculiarity, it has been applied in various areas and has allowed us to create unexpected links between apparently distant disciplines, botany, physics, zoology, architecture, painting and music, also with mystical esoteric values. So here are the 8 places you want to believe the golden ratio exists. Number 8. The Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal, located in Agra, India, is India's most well-known structure. It was built by Shah Jahan in 1653 to serve as a memorial to his third wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The central building in the photograph above is the actual tomb of Mumtaz Mahal. This tomb is covered in calligraphy, brilliant marble carvings, and inlay of stones such as jade and jasper. The main building of the Taj Mahal was designed using the golden ratio. This is why it looks so perfect. The rectangles that served as the basic outline for the exterior of the building were all in the golden proportion. Number 7. Mona Lisa. One very famous piece, known as the Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, is drawn according to the golden ratio. The golden ratio is 1, 0.618 and has been coined golden because it is said to be aesthetically pleasing. The golden proportion can be found throughout the human body. A golden rectangle is simply a rectangle with dimensions that reflect the golden ratio. The Mona Lisa has many golden rectangles throughout the painting. By drawing a rectangle around her face, we can see that it is indeed golden. If we divide that rectangle with a line drawn across her eyes, we get another golden rectangle, meaning that the proportion of her head length to her eyes is golden. There are other golden rectangles that can be drawn on the rest of her body, like from her neck to the top of her hands. Number 6. The Great Pyramids of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza, in Egypt, fascinates many of us. It is an astonishing construction built with an incredible accuracy, far beyond the one achievable by our current technology. The Great Pyramid has a base of 230.4 meters 755.9 feet and an estimated original height of 146.5 meters 480.6 feet. This also creates a height to base ratio of 0.636, which indicates it is indeed a golden triangles, at least to within three significant decimal places of accuracy. Number 5. Music. In the music of the 20th century the golden ratio has found fertile ground spreading out of all proportion, Debussy, Stockhausen, Bart, Stravinsky, Manzoni, Leggetti, are just some of the best known names that have voluntarily chosen the use of these magical proportions. Listen to these few examples. Number 4. DNA. The DNA molecule in which all the physical features of living things are stored has also been created in a form based on the golden ratio. DNA consists of two intertwined perpendicular helixes. The length of the curve in each of these helixes is 34 angstroms and the width 21 angstroms. One angstrom is one hundred millionth of a centimeter. 21 and 34 are two consecutive Fibonacci numbers.
All this information is just some of the important proof that the universe was created by a sublime intelligence. In other words, that God created the universe. Number 3. Advertising. While there will never be a one-size-fits-all approach for design, there is a concrete, mathematical approach that can help us get one step closer to creating amazing design experiences every time, the golden ratio. That right, designers use math too. And it helps create better websites, advertisements, social media posts, and more and it can help you too. Use the golden rectangle as a guide to organizing content that easy to scan and more attractive to the viewer. Place the larger more important information within the large curve section and the smaller less important information within the tight arcs on the right. Number 2. Anatomy of Living Things Over the years, artists and architects have come to the conclusion that the golden ratio embodies the ideal proportions of the human body. The ratio of the forearm to hand is phi. Your hand creates a golden section in relation to your arm as the ratio of your forearm to your hand is also 1.618, the divine proportion. The height of a person divided by the distance between their belly button and the ground. The distance between the top of the head and the shoulder divided by the distance between the top of the head and the chin. The length of the face divided by the width of the face. These are just few of the many examples. Number 1. Human Facial Construction the golden ratio is a mathematical equation that translates to facial plastic surgery. The golden ratio states that a traditionally beautiful person face is approximately one and one half times longer than it is width. When facial plastic surgery first became wildly popular, the focus was often on achieving a reflection. A patient might bring in photos of their favorite celebrity and express the desire for a perfect nose. Hi, I'm Dr. Siu Takwa. We are going to talk a bit about beauty proportions today, something which you probably have heard of, the golden ratio. We have found that when a person's facial proportions follow the golden ratio, we innately find them more aesthetically pleasing. Over here, I have a calipers which help me measure the golden ratio. So, when we open this up, at one side, you have a ratio of 1 is to 1.618, following the golden ratio proportions. So over here, we have our, our volunteer, Kelly. Close your eyes, please. So looking at Kelly's face, let's use the calipers to see whether her face fits into the golden ratio dimensions. We start by looking at the distance between the eyes. This distance should be approximately the width of the eye, which is there. And compared to the width of the face, you can see that Kelly has beautiful cheekbones and her width of the face in them is in golden ratio. Her eyebrows as well, from the end to the arch to the length of the eyebrow, they are in golden ratio proportion. Let's look at her nose. So Kelly's nose is also a good length in golden ratio proportion. Kelly's mouth is slightly small for her face, so if we enhance her lips to make it slightly longer, it will be nicer. And looking at the width of the face, we can see that Kelly's face is slightly wide and she may benefit from slight slimming. Next, let's look at the vertical proportions for her. We look at the height of the nose to the mouth compared with her chin. And you can see that using the golden ratio, her chin is slightly short and if it's slightly enhanced and longer, it may look better. Finally, I'm going to look at the thickness of the lips. So our lips are also in golden ratio proportions. So looking at this, Kelly's lower lip can be slightly thicker and a little enhancement there may also fit her better into the golden ratio profile.